Uh, Trustee Cook, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Melinda Cook. I, Melinda Cook. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully discharge. The duties of the office of Freeport Township Trustee. The duties of the office of Freeport Township Trustee. To the best of my ability. To the best of my abilities. All right. That's it. it. All right. Now she can Congratulations. sign. Congratulations. Now you can sign. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Kathy Altensey, here. Kevin is absent and Joy is absent. <coughs> Melinda Cook, here. Patrick Sellers, here. Okay, we have a quorum. We have a quorum. The first order minutes the approval of the minutes for the May 7th, uh, 2021 meeting. A motion and a second, please. So moved. Second. All right, please take a look at the minutes if you haven't done so already. These chairs don't roll on this carpet real well. They don't. No, no, they do not. <laughs> With those things like you have in your office, those pads. Oh. Yeah, they put gotcha. on so they, so they those can roll are, around. Those, those mm -hmm. plastic pads, okay. We can mm -hmm. get some of those so we can roll around. Or even just the plastic. Rolling too far. Rollers. <laughs> yeah. There he goes. Not me. I have this to stop me. Okay. Are there any questions? On the minutes? No. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. The next order bid is approval of bills payable. I need a motion and a second, please. So moved. Second. All right, please take a look at bills payable. You guys will notice <laughs> that our numbers are down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because there is a lot of money floating around with. PPP loans and stimulus checks and mm -hmm. a lot of that floating around. So we we are I think we're down to fifteen clients. Yes. So yeah. I mean like what about uh uh applications? We're, we're still getting applications in. Um, I think we got uh, four in last week, and we had three terminations last week. So we started off today with, with one as well, so yeah. Are there any questions on claims and demands, trustees? No. Yes. No, I just have a curious question. What would happen if there was like no active clients? That's a good question. Like what's the <laughs> township? Where is Mike Phillips? I mean, and what's like the... <laughs> Mike Phillips had hip replacement. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 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 Uh, <laughs> yeah. We would, we would still be available for someone who would need us. Yeah. Um, do you Which, think that'll happen, that you won't have clients? No, no, I don't think that will happen. Uh, because the, eventually what's, what's going to happen is the, the, the moratorium is going to get lifted for evictions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. And we're going to get bombarded, bombarded with people. Yep. How long? That's been in, there's a moratorium on evictions. evictions. And it's supposed to be lifted the 26th of this month. And every time it's get close to the time, it's usually get extended. So with, with restrictions loosening, on, on COVID in the state, I'm not anticipating the governor extending it this time. Well, he's supposed to open up the whole state on January, June 11th. Mm -hmm. So that'll probably be the, so, the reason for it. And I just read up on the uh, eviction moratorium um, and, it, and it was extended through June 26th. 
So. Well, and um, I've heard that some people that were getting unemployment weren't supposed to be getting it. There was a lot of things happening that shouldn't have been happening. Yeah. A lot of your drug people are getting PPP <laughs> money. Yeah. Well, that's that's. Well, and that's just your that, average Joe that got that, fired, so right. you're not eligible for unemployment. Right. There were there were. Um, Certain safeguards that should have been put in place yeah. that weren't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Well, all the little people who might have gotten some money in these times, I imagine the numbers do not compare to the amount of money that has been given to corporations. I agree. And Absolutely. all of the people who have financially benefited from these times Absolutely. through their low wage workers who Absolutely. might have gotten maybe a couple thousand dollars in and, and, and unemployment. Also, and also through their price gouging on their products. Mm -hmm. God, yes. Indeed. So, Indeed. So, Indeed. So, Absolutely. Yeah, but, but we cannot solve the federal government's problems here at Township, yes. although we would like to. So you want to do roll call vote? <laughs> yes, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. We can educate each other, though. Right? Alton C. Aye. Cook. Yes. Sellers. Aye. Motion carries. Trustees, within your packets, you will find, well, first of all, next order of the approval of resolution 21 TR 03, participation by elected officials in the Illinois Municipal Retirement Fund. I need a motion and a second, please. So moved. Second. All righty. What this is, this has to be signed every, what, three or, three four, or four years. years or something like that in order for Meta and I to have retirement. So, if it's not signed, <laughs> then we lose our retirement. So, trustees, please. What have you done be, for me lately? Be, be so kind <laughs> as to as as to vote yes and sign this. So I can have a retirement. Two copies. Yeah, I do they're, too. There, one is for. Are they one for each of you? Is that what it is? Um. Yes. I was trying to like determine there's, the difference. There's one for. Wait a minute. No. Oh. All you need is just one. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, and this one is the one that needs to be signed and approved. The one so you have. the one that I have. So, um, and if I'm not mistaken, has to be signed by the clerk. So, if you guys have any questions about it, please give me your questions, and I'll and I'll do the I'll do my best to answer. I thank my lucky stars for IMRF every day. I bet you do. <laughs> yeah. Because the state can't touch it. <laughs> exactly. Whatever they want to. Any questions, trustees? Trustee yeah. Cook, any questions? Okay. Madam Clerk, can you please call the roll? Alden C. Aye. Cook? Yes. Sellers? Aye. Motion carries. All righty. The next one has been the supervisor's report. Trustees, I have taken the liberty of finishing. The grant cycles that we would like to, 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 to give, please take a look and hopefully we can get the other trustees on Thanks, board and see if we can't get <laughs> this passed by the next meeting. Now, what you guys will see is that I have increased the amount to the Senior Resource Center to 60000 Here's my reason. I would like them to add tree removal and tree trimming to their services for our seniors because we've been getting quite a few calls from our seniors asking, who helps with tree trimming and tree removal? No one does. I would like to be able to say, please call the Senior Resource Center and they may be able to help. So, yes, trustee, obviously. But they're not open, you know that? They're open. There's somebody there to answer the mm -hmm. phones, they're but open. like at tax time, nobody was there to right. do taxes. Right, and but they should loosen up soon. Yes, that should be loosening up soon. So, the, maybe by the time but now that our taxes are done. But they are still um, helping with this service. Oh, good. Okay. So I would, like to, I would like to have no lapses in service so it could continue on because word is, word is spreading about this program to our seniors. Good. And so it's, it's, it's a benefit. You will also look in here and see other organizations receiving grants, like the VACSC. Uh, they're going to receive... Mm -hmm. A, uh, a grant to, to help them further along. They've they've had um, they've had a little snafu with the with the county board reducing their budget, which they which is which they really I don't think by law can do. But we can't do we can't handle the county board's business. So I want to uh, give the VACSC 
money as well. Um, FACC is starting uh, back up, and they've been facing financial difficulties since they have new admi new administrations. So we like to help yeah. keep them uh, going. I'm glad they're up again. Yes, St. Vincent de Paul. We'd like to give them money to continue with their services as well. The Boys and Girls Club. They are starting a service. Well, starting a program. If you look at the back, called Ready to Work, to where they are going to be hiring. Uh, men and women ages 18 to 25 to do repairs on dilapidated property, well properties that are that are pretty, yes. So what they asked us to do, they asked for assistance with transporting the materials as far as um, the tools and stuff. So what my suggestion was we would render them a $15,000 grant in order to purchase a trailer. This trailer would have all of the equipment on it and they can take it from work site to work site. And so that would, that's what this grant will be for. Great. Um, the Voices grant. Voices um, has bought and uh, bought the Sojourn House old building. Oh, they did. Yes, okay. and they're turning it into a uh, a shelter for women of domestic violence. Thank so God. Um, we are. I would like to give them a thirty thousand dollar grant to help them with the process of getting that up and going. Um, they're supposed to have it hopefully done uh, by September. So. This money would help them get that process moving. That's so wonderful. those are my thoughts. You have any? Wonderful. I think especially I'm very excited about this, the voices and Boys and Girls Club mm -hmm. things. Yes. Awesome. So that's what that's what we are that's the that's the plan that we would that's like to, plan, to do. So my next move will be getting uh, the attorney to actually write up the, the, uh, the agreement. Grant agreement. Grant agreement which at that point in time, I will seek your approval. Then we will uh, hopefully get your approval and, and get these checks issued to these organizations to get these programs going and keep these programs going. Good deal. Okay? You have any questions, trustees? I did the best I could with the write-up. Um, <laughs> so take a look at it, read through it. If there's anything that seems confusing, please let me know. Um, also, if, if you look at the uh, Senior Resource Center program, I've, I've, in the $60,000, 5% of $3,000 is going to go towards administrative costs because it takes work in order to administer this program. Mm -hmm. And for them to find the, the, the vendors, or not the vendors, the contracts that, that they found and get the deals that they've gotten for us, like we've had a lady who had her furnace and her hot water here replaced, and, and, and it cost us, and it cost the program $800-something, that's, that's unheard of. So for them to do that type of work, we need to do something to show our appreciation. So I don't, I don't think 5% of, of, of that $60,000, which $3,000 is, is, is out, of, out of line. Plus now so. that it's warmer months and the grass is growing, yes, they can't get out there and mow that grass. And, and that gutter cleaning officer. is going to be very important. Gutter cleaning is going to be very important. Officer. They don't have one. So They do in some neighborhoods. <laughs> the high school or some shit. Something should have like a lawn mowing program, like because yeah. lawn mowing in general is like Absolutely. I hate to, the idea that anyone has to pay like like a tax or a, a ticket for not mowing the lawn because like not everybody either like you don't have a lawn mower or whatever right. or you don't know a kid who can come mow your lawn mm -hmm. for ten bucks. But the problem is too, it's not just that. It's so there's a lot of landlords. Who don't keeping. mow the lawn? Right. True, true, true. Uh -huh. Yeah, because it's not so included like, in the rent. My neighbor right. was one of them, and he, they, it was almost as tall as Patrick before they. Yeah. Well, that's no good. And that, if you are renting, jungle. that is not. That's not your responsibility. Necessarily, it's it depends the, upon the. Especially if it's a no multi-unit dwelling. Right. Yeah. That's right. 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 Maybe so. if you have a whole house and a whole yard. Yeah. The house it's next to us on Saxby is um, a rental, and. I swear to God, they're in their 20s. They got married a couple years ago. And he might mow that lawn once a month. It's like, seriously? I'm 64 years old, and I'm out there pushing it every week. Sure, but like, I don't know, just some people, lawn mowing is not, is, doesn't work for them. Not this thing. <laughs> and the idea, and who's to say that, you know, you don't, dandelions are awful. And there could be all different solutions to yards other yeah. than a lawn. So mm -hmm. I'm challenged by the idea of ticketing for unmowed lawns. <laughs> okay. 
guess well, it depends they'll upon ticket, the situation. They'll ticket if you put stuff out on the curb for free. Say what? They'll ticket you. Oh, if, like if you leave, that's what, how else do you get, like what if you just want to get rid of something mm -hmm. that is not? They did it to me. This isn't, that's silly. Mm -hmm. I disagree with that. I'm challenged by that also. Okay. All right. We, 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 okay. I feel so much better. This is exciting. Yes. That uh, Boys and Girls Club program sounds awesome. Like, yeah. That was gone like, for a while, wasn't it? We've never had anything like that before. It was like previously like township clients, right? Yeah, we've had, we, we tried to get it going with, with, with the city at one point in time, um, and it fell through. But the Boys and Girls Club, they've taken some, this, this is something totally different, and they've, and they've brought it here, and now they're ready to rock and roll on it. So our part, I asked him what could we do in order to help, and he said, well, we need help with transporting the, the, the equipment. I said, okay, well, I, I have an idea. And I ran it past the group, and they were like, yes. So I said, I'll take it to my board, and if they agree, then we can help with, 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 that, with that process. Because they used to have it in the first floor of the family counseling. It used to be Western States. Mm -hmm. They had the Boys and Girls Club yep. on that first floor. Isn't it at the Martin Luther King Center anymore? Yes, it's still the Martin Luther oh, okay. well, it's, it's, it's the King Campus. Oh, it's okay. the Boys and Girls Club but of they Stevenson just County. So for their board encompasses meetings. many things. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. All right. The next order of business is assessor's report. Since the assessor isn't here, then I'll move on. Next uh, order of business is trustees report. Trustees, anything? No. Hmm? Next order of business is public comment. Are there any public comments? Please come forward. So I'm here. Okay. <laughs> I'm uh, Steve Carroll. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, just so you know, the Greater Freeport partnership uh, received over $100,000 in PPD money. Uh, currently, they're not getting enough tax dollars. So that is a vampire organization in my view. Um, I want to ask something of all of you, since I voted for all of you, and unfortunately for some of you, I'm a constituent. Uh, did you guys, I'm sure you all read Pat's uh, article in the paper about the violence in the neighborhoods, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would yeah. like to ask every elected official in the city to do the same. Uh, however you can do it. Go to the council meeting, get on them. I intend to do that tonight. Um, speak out and do it very publicly. Um, there's gunfire all over. Uh, I had it happen in front of my house, 645 Friday. And there were shell cases on, my, on the uh, sidewalk in front of my house. There was no property damage. Nobody was hurt. This is not this time. This time, <laughs> right? But there's. Uh, I keep hearing so many different things about why this is happening, and I'm not sure. It might be all of the reasons or none of them. Mm -hmm. um, but most elected officials are saying nothing, and. Patrick has, has, but I'm not hearing it from anybody else. So I'd like to ask you guys, I'm a constituent, step up. I would mm -hmm. really appreciate it. Not like I'm going to buy a bunch of beers or anything, but I would still appreciate it. Okay. Are there any more public Thanks, comments? Steve. No? Okay. All righty. Um, any other business come before the town? I'll entertain a motion to adjourn until Monday uh, at 4.30 on June 21st. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Too bad. Meeting adjourned. Thank you, trustee.